Thanks, Magdalena. Uh, breakfast on a Thursday morning. Great to have you with us. Well, it's out today, this edition of the BRW. And in it are uh, the 50 best workplaces and the secret to how they achieved it. Joining me now is the Deputy Editor, Michael Bailey. Michael, good morning to you. Good morning. In a moment, we're actually going to go to one of the employees you spoke to who works for the fourth best place. Uh, you spoke to 68,000 employees, 300 businesses. You do this all the time. Yeah. Generally speaking, are workplaces in Australia improving or not? I think they certainly are. It certainly depends what industry you're in. But IT uh, industry, as, as you can see in the list, is extremely strong on the employment Why front. Why is that? Is it easier to be hip and cool and, and user-friendly when you're in IT industry? I think IT companies, to attract the kind of people that are good at IT, very creative, very logic-driven people, uh, you know, they need to supply very flexible work patterns. They're right. not the kind of people that are going to be in the nine-to-five cookie-cutter uh, and control. to be fair, obviously, it is a lot harder for... Like, for instance, if you are making cookies, if you've got people standing next to machines, it's a lot mm. harder to be flexible. It's, it's a lot harder to be flexible and, uh, you know, I mean, a lot of these jobs are... They get to be extremely creative, they create a lot of cool stuff. Right. We'll talk in just a moment about what makes a good, a good workplace, um, but let's have a look at the top five Absolutely. and just very quickly talk us through the top five. So, OBS, the best place to work in Australia. That's right. They're a little Melbourne uh, IT consultancy. Just fantastic in terms of the trust that exists there between the staff and management. I mean, trust is a thing that underlines a lot of this. I guess uh, trust comes out in all of them. Number two, NetApp? Yeah. NetApp, yeah, they're, uh, they're another IT company. Uh, you know, the telecommuting there is second to none. Uh, you know, the, the what? It's the t telecommuting. What even is that? What is that? What even is it? <laughs> that's, uh, that's where you don't really have to show up to the office all that often. Uh, you know, again, trust that you'll get the job done. Are these people all no making money? Obviously, Google are. <laughs> but, you know, because if they said I didn't have to come in, I just wouldn't. No, <laughs> it just wouldn't work. Right. Um, number three, Google. We know about Google. Um, eWeb Marketing, we're going to talk to them in a moment. And Atlas Consulting. Atlas Consulting, yeah. They're, uh, again, um, you know, very big on... Uh, Rewarding staff. I mean, the the programs they have there for recognising and awarding staff. It's just you know, small, not necessarily huge amounts of money, but just constant mm. reminders that you're special. Uh, that sort of thing. Does it? I mean, do you know, do, do people see through it? It has to be genuine, doesn't it? It's got to be genuine. It's got to be. You know, that the financial inducements had actually come down a little bit. Uh, so, we've what, so what you mean by that is how how important they are as a factor in being a good company is is less significant. Yeah. It's you know, you don't need to spend a lot of money. It's, a lot of the programs that we're seeing among the best workplaces now involve, you know, health and well-being, for instance. I mean, one of our best places, uh, Optiva, they have a, a flu pack for everybody. So it's vouchers for warm clothes, flu shots. It sounds a bit touchy-feely. It's a little bit touchy-feely. But at the... At the and, and those things are great, but what's the fundamental thing is trust yeah, between yeah. Uh, management. You know, and things like a lot of the, these companies now, they don't have that traditional performance review, the yeah. annual it, performance review. Would it be review. fair to say, if you looked at your, like those five companies there and the others mm. that are close to the top of your list, yeah. say the whole 50, would they all be profitable? Are they all doing well because of the way they care for the, the major resource, which is the staff? Look, I'd say yeah, there is a definite link between the companies in our list and their financial performance. Mm. Uh, you know, they, these are companies that are performing right. well. Um, just let's have a look at, at what a company can do. Say you're running a swear shop at the moment <laughs> and you'd like to get on this list. What makes a great workplace? Well, there's some ideas right there. Uh, you know, it's, again, flexible work. Uh, you know, our, our, our winning company, uh, OBS, you know, you can knock off early to do the school run. Uh, you know, uh, some of the things we've mentioned there... Uh, it's, you know, it's one thing about the performance reviews is that they don't do that anymore. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a, an ongoing conversation so again, that between management and staff. So, that comes back to trust. That comes back to trust. All right, yeah. well, let's go out to the fourth best place to work in Australia now. Uh, joining us is Jeff Wang at eWeb Marketing. He's an employee there. <laughs> Jeff, of course, is not working at all. He's producing nothing. He's just having fun at the ping pong. Um, Jeff, what makes your company worthy of the fourth best spot? Uh, well, I guess, you know, uh, what I love about it is I wake up, I love waking up and coming to work every morning. The average Australian is awake 13 to 17 hours a day. Yeah. And for most of us, we spend over half that time at work. So uh, what, what makes eWeb special is that we, we have a greater purpose here. We, our vision is to, is to uh, uh, bring everyone happiness, success and fun to everyone we encounter. So our, our purpose and passion is, yeah. to spread the, is to spread what we call HSF 
and uh, show and teach other workplaces that they can they need to have right. they need to have fun and um, have their em employees inspired and happy to come to work every are day. Are you playing ping pong with our cameraman? Is that <laughs> yeah, who, yes. It is the cameraman. <laughs> well, he should put that paddle down straight away and do his job properly. Um, you realise, don't you, that that is not a real silver birch forest in the background. It's just a sticker on the wall. <laughs> That's right, that's right. It is just the, the sticker on the wall, but it is quite calming. Yeah. Um, and also in here on, on to my left, we have Jerome, who is uh, our company counsellor and champion uh, pool player right there. <laughs> um, the, uh, show me the... Um, oh, you've got a drum kit in the background, God. Um, yes. Show me the lymphasizer. So what happens is you're at your desk and you think... Oh, I don't even know if you have a desk. You're doing some work of some kind uh, in that rare moment, and all of a sudden you think, oh, my lymph glands are giving me jip. Yes, this is the lymphocyzer. We, the, the company sent all, all of us to uh, Anthony Robbins' uh, seminar recently called Unleash the Power Within. And one of the days we learned about the health system and that uh, to stimulate, the, the best way to stimulate your lymph system and improve your health was to get a rebounder. So um, yeah, we, uh, we got, got one. everyone one of these things. How many, staff, how many staff are, are, are there at your company? We have 35. Uh, uh -uh, there we go. That's that then. We'll never know anymore. Let's just see if we can go back because I've got... Oh, yeah, we can. So you've got 35 staff. What, say, two of you want to use the lymphocyzer at the same time? Do you just basically smash each other to bits until one of you gets on it? Pretty much, pretty much. We let, we let Jerome sort it out. No, we do have two. We do have two lymphocytes. The thing is, I'm treating um, this maybe a little bit lightly. The fact of the matter is, your company does very well. It is the, considered to be the fourth best place to work. So these are not just gimmicks. They're not just stickers on the wall. It's the whole ethos. You are completely trusted. 100%, yeah. It's all about, we don't come to work to, to make profits. It's all about having purpose and passion that ultimately okay. lead to profits. Do you yeah. know, there's just one quick thing, finally, Jeff, that I want to ask you. Wouldn't you rather just be in jeans and a T-shirt? <laughs> well, most of the company are in jeans and T-shirt, but I actually love coming to work wearing a suit. And that's the beauty of eWeb. We're, Brilliant. We that's have fantastic. the freedom. Yep. Yeah, we have yep. the freedom to come in and, and dress how we like. Jeff, thank you very much for joining us. Jeff Yang. You're there. welcome. Fantastic thank hairdo you. as well. Kath has just <laughs> complimented you in the background on that hairdo. That's almost like two people's hairdo. It's brilliant. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. Before very you much. go, can I show you one more room? One no, more room. Well, it'll, you'll have to be quick. You'll have to run. Yes, very, and I bet you quickly. don't normally run around that we, office. <laughs> we, this is our this is our sleep and uh, sleep and massage room. We have a full body massage chair with bunk beds. Well, that's so, just uh, weird. One of, the, one of the rooms that I love to use after lunch. No, that is weird. So a couple of staff members can lie on the bunk beds and watch you sleeping in your massage chair. That is yes. just too weird for words. Um, Jeff, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. You're that welcome. is uh, You're welcome. Good Jeff morning. Yang there, eWeb Marketing.